So what did she say when you guys talked on the phone? Oh, God, she we, we were both, I think, equally as stunned. You know, she was just like she was grateful that I finally reached out to her. Were you and, so nervous? Oh, God, I was so nervous. I, I was so nervous. And it turns out, actually, that I have two other siblings. So she has two other daughters. Uh, so I actually have two half blood sisters that I didn't know about. And I funnily enough, like because like in my family, like in my adoptive family, I'm the baby. I'm the young one. But I've always felt like an older sibling. And turns out that I have two you younger are. siblings. So yeah, <laughs> I think all of this has shown me like so much of these things that I felt throughout my life have been like sort of real, real. Like I felt these things through my intuition throughout my entire life and having so much of it verified through my experience now has helped me really understand like the power of intuition and the power of the knowledge that we have embedded within ourselves within and our like genomes exactly right? because they it's say that the history lives in our cells and, and yeah and if you can do the right things to access it you know you can gain all sorts of wisdom and all sorts of information simply through meditation diving back into yourself and those sort of things and that's been another sort of huge change for me throughout this year is finding them has really helped me in my spiritual journey and, and finding more solace and comfort within myself where I was just living in so much doubt. Like I said before, I had so much doubt, so much uncertainty, so much fear, so much confusion about my existence. And all of those questions have been answered now. It's been, yeah. You mentioned like before there was a lot of doubt, a lot of self-harm to some degree. Yeah. Um, do you feel like this has answered some of that as well? And, and, and do you feel like those are still issues if I was to continue doing sort of some of the bad behavior that I had been participating in before, like that was sort of an additional downside, I think, to the lifestyle that I was living before. Uh, I was living a very destructive lifestyle. You know, I was, I was feeding myself with, I was feeding my anxiety basically with, you know, bad diet, not a good sleep schedule. You know, I wasn't drinking enough water. I wasn't exercising well enough. I just wasn't really taking care of myself and this connection for me and finding this part of myself again, it inspired me to like do better and be better, right? Like now knowing who my ancestors are, now knowing the yeah. precedent that they've set, it's really inspired me to change my life and to be better. And I've now translated that back into my career. And I, as you said at the beginning, I've started my own business and it's a very moral and ethical business where I'm, I'm aiming to help people uh, find their own version of their pathway because that's my story. Like I was able to find my personal path and hopefully now I can shepherd and help other people find their paths as well. You know, maybe they weren't adopted, maybe they don't have the same story as me, but I do believe that we all have that little light inside of us that we can find. And once you find that, it's extremely powerful. And from even just me within the last year, the amount of change that I've made just from prioritizing self-care and my needs has been incredible. Mm -hmm.